Hello friends, welcome to another lecture of VHDL tutorial. Today we are going to learn about how to implement a program for parallel in, parallel out. It means people using generate statement using a for loop generate statement. We know that generate statement is the alternative to structural modeling and it is a concurrent statement. It is alternative to structural modeling because if we are uh, we need to implement a same component 10 times or more or n number of times so it is not feasible to map the n number of times that component as per the structural modeling. So in that case structural modeling is a tedious job. For that we are using a generate statement in the generate statement we have a syntax and in that syntax we are writing the range from which uh, from how many number of times we need to replicate that component so it is the easiest way to implement or for the regular structures to use uh, using a generate statement it is a type of loop and is used outside the process statement this is the very important point always remember not to use generate statement in the process statement it is always written outside the process statement it is useful to replicate the identical statement in VHDL it provides a compact description of regular structures like counters, registers, etc. There are two types of generated statement. One is the for loop generated statement and another one is the if loop generated statement. Today we are going to learn about a for loop generate statement. Now it is the syntax of the for loop generate statement. In this syntax always remember first of all you need to write a generate label in this generate label always remember never start your label with the numeric number or it will be a pure numeric label will always be a alphanumeric or only alphabetical form then colon for variable name it is a name of variable from uh, which you would like to initiate your loop in range that means how many number of times you would like to run that loop then generate entity name and the component name which you would like to replicate then port mapping between the entity and component names and the end generate now this is the parallel in parallel out structure and these uh, four diff flip flops are uh, using and in all these flip flops are synchronized with the same clock and same reset only the difference is the simultaneously you are providing the inputs to this flip flops and simultaneously you are getting the outputs from all these flip flops so this, this is a type of 4 bit parallel in parallel out register now here is the program how to implement this parallel in parallel out using generate statement first of all we are writing a library library ieee and use ieee dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all then we are declaring a entity in which we are declaring a four bit input that means we are writing s in and make it a vector type zero to three then clock and reset are our input and the output which is also a vectored type and we are uh, writing a program for 4 bit parallel in parallel out so we are declaring the inputs and outputs having a 4 bit variables then architecture behavioral of test underscore shift register underscore generate is and we are declaring a component diff flip flop calling a component diff flip flop and here we are writing a program using generate statement so we are writing the syntax for the generate statement between begin and end 
we are declaring a label that is label 2 this is known as the generate label as per the syntax of our generate statement then we are writing for n n is the variable name in 0 to 3 0 to 3 is our range because we are going to implement a 4 bit parallel in parallel out register so 0 to 3 is our range and then we are writing generate then entity name and component name then we are mapping our component with our entity that means port map d is assigned to our input entity input that is sn then clock with clock reset with reset and q is our output and output with output and generate label and and our program now after running this program after synthesizing this program we are getting this as our entity declaration box in this sn clock and reset are our input and s out is our output while double clicking on this block we are getting the rtl view of our parallel in parallel out register while again double clicking on this rtl view we are getting the internal view of rtl now after simulating our waveform we are getting this as our waveform in this waveform we, uh, we will see we, uh, that first is the clock second is the reset जब तक हमारा सिस्टम रिसेट कंडीशन में है, then at that moment we are getting the output is null because we are declaring our program on the clock age and we are getting the rising age of clock at this instant of time from where our inputs are changing and in at this time instant we are having the input as in as zero one one zero so 0, 1, 1 and 0 uh, are our 0, 1, 0, 0 are our input combinations that we are seeing here and on the next clock cycle we are having the inputs 0, 0, 1, 0 so 0, 0, 1 and 0 are replicating in our outputs so this is uh, the program for the parallel in parallel out register we are that we are implementing here so thank you friends uh, agar aapko mera ye video pasand aaya hai to ise like kare mere channel ko subscribe kare aur sath hi hame valuable comment provide kare taki hum is channel ko aur effective bana sake is tutorial ko aur effective bana sake thank you